So this post kind of set the Pokemon community on fire. Coming out of Pokemon Worlds, if you guys don't know, when Pokemon hosts like big events, they usually have like exclusive product, especially Pokemon Worlds. They usually have a lot of exclusive product and some of it kind of ties into the area that they're visiting. In this case, I think the Worlds was in Hawaii, hence why there's a ukulele and a, I, it looks like a skateboard, but it might be a surfboard. But hence why these items are available because it fits the theme. But you see here that this individual bought a lot of stuff, way more than one person would ever need. And if you can look, 1.7 million views. Should have bought that Twitter blue, bro. <laughs> but it did get a lot of uh, engagement, a lot of retweets, including a lot of quoted retwe uh, retweets, a lot of replies, and a lot of love. And it's interesting because I'm going to talk today about the hypocrisy of a Pokemon player. Now, I'm not going to dog on anybody in particular in this video. I have nothing against anybody in this video. And as a matter of fact, I don't have anything against players. But it's always interesting. And if you guys haven't seen my two last videos about Pokemon Twitter drama, Pokemon players tend to bash on collectors for doing bad to the hobby, but will ignore a Pokemon player who is buying excessive amounts of product to resell to recoup cost for going to a tournament. So it's okay for somebody to scalp out product at an event and Pokemon players are quiet because it's another Pokemon player doing it. But when there were scalpers in the collector part of the market that were buying out trading cards at your local Walmart, it was hashtag scalpers bad. And don't get me wrong, if you guys see my video earlier this week, you know I don't like scalpers at all. But I don't like scalpers that are disguised as Pokemon players and I don't like scalpers that are disguised as collectors. If you're scalping product, if you're buying product to sell at a massive markup, you're a dick. It's as simple as that. You might not agree with me, but you're a dick. So Matthew here, he didn't actually buy this to scalp, at least to my knowledge. Um, if he is to be believed, he bought this product to bring back home to a bunch of friends and people at his locals. But as somebody uh, pointed out in a quote, uh, tweet that I actually have to agree with. Sure, you wanted to get your friend stuff, but you knew this was going to be a bad idea to post this much product online. You could have posted one of everything and been like, hey, Pokemon Center had some cool shit and people would have dropped you all kinds of love. But when you post this much product, when you're posting like 20 deck boxes and multiple play mats and all different kinds of products and duplicates, people are going to be shitty towards you because it's immediately assumed that you're scalping. Now, this person did say that they're charging, I think, MSRP plus a little extra to cover for luggage costs or whatever they had to pay. And that's even if they had to pay, but they are charging a little bit extra. But we're, that's it for taking Matthew's words uh, at it. And I have no reason to doubt that Matthew's telling the truth or not telling the truth because I don't know the person involved. So we're going to take his word for it and say this is indeed bought for friends. And I'm going to just highlight this one comment because there's a lot of hate thrown Matthew's way. A lot of people being very negative, a lot of people being toxic about him potentially scalping. But I'm going to take his word for it and say, hey, he bought this product for his friends at home. And there's a common argument that you'll see with a lot of people defending. And I'm going to actually counter this argument because I think it's fucking stupid to use it. But that we'll get to that later. But I agree here that you knew exactly the kind of backlash you would get posting this kind of image because you know this community. Why post it in the first place? So I agree with this comment. That's the only comment we're going to look at with this post. But then we see that other people end up doing the same thing. They're posting all kinds of contests. Now, this person, 100% is how you do it. I, from what I could tell, it looks like they bought one of everything they could. I don't really see many duplicates besides maybe keychains, but like your bucket hats are all different. Your plushies are all different plushies. One ukulele, one surf skateboard thing. So like most of the stuff is singles. Another post here is Vaughn PTCG player posted both of these and said DM what off offers and has already sold the ukulele. We don't know what he got for it because it was privately in DMs. But odds are that Vaughn here ended up selling for a profit to recoup cost. Once again, air quotes that recoup cost. But you see here that a lot of the players are supporting them. And most of the people that are against him are calling them out for shamelessly res uh, reselling end up being collectors, people who don't go the world because they're not invited, right? And sure, there might be a jealousy element there, and I can agree, like, 
sure if you're if you're a collector you might really want this product and the only way to get it is really to get in the world uh get over to worlds and be able to get it so i can understand that there might be a little bit of a jealousy element to it but the truth is is that this is still scalping you're buying this product and then you're reselling it at a massive markup once again he was smart about it dm with offers so that way you don't know how much somebody actually paid them for this they could have paid double triple msrp and we don't know because they kept it in dms Another person that posted a big haul was Wancho here. Another person that I kind of like their haul because once again, it's like one of everything and no spares, unfortunately. Sorry, somebody asked him if he was willing to sell anything and he said, no, it's all for me. See, this is what is appropriate. Going back to Matthews, this is what gets backlash. This is the kind of post that gets the community angry. This one um, right here, when you're talking about prices, and potentially selling, it might get you mad. But when you're like Wancho here and you're like, hey, I'm not selling any of my shit. This is all for me because I'm a massive Pokemon nerd. This is when you get a lot of support. Like most people on either side of the hobby are gonna love you because this is a really cool haul. This is a lot of products I would love to have as a Pokemon collector. And I can completely understand why this person would buy all of this and end up spending this much money on all of this product. Once again, Wancho, no spares, not selling anything, which is awesome. Now, there is a take that I see from a lot of players where like they'll say this person does not deserve the hate because he bought within the limits set by Pokemon. That goes back to the idea of people being able to buy within limits. So my question to any player who thinks like this is if I'm a Pokemon collector and I hit up my local Walmart and my local Walmart has no limit on purchase, and I see that they happen to just restock 35 Hidden Fates ETBs. Am I allowed to buy all those? Because I'm I'm buying within the limits set by Walmart that are set by Pokemon. I'm not breaking any rules. I'm following any guides, any rules that are set by the businesses involved. So am I a scalper? Am I wrong? Because that is the argument that most players are using in defending this behavior and defending this excessive buying and causing it to where not everybody has a chance at these products at these shops. That is what my question is to any player who believes this. Because he says there's a scalper problem, but this isn't it. If there's a scalper problem, but this isn't it, then what is the scalper problem? Because by your logic, me buying all of the all of the shelf out at Walmart when nobody's saying I can't, is not scalping. Because I'm following the rules, I'm following the guidelines, right? So that is the one argument that I see. And then clearly you got the people like this douchebag here that are just selling everything for a massive markup. Now, I think this is the competitor kit. So this is just something that's gonna be pricey no matter what, because this is only for world's competitors. So it makes sense that this one sees a lot of, uh, a lot of cost. But at the same time, we're seeing a lot of posts about products like this that are also selling, like the ukulele and the skate surfboard thingy. Once again, I don't know if this is a skateboard or surfboard. Somebody in the comment section below correct me if I, based on what it is. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to comment on this because my biggest problem with this whole situation is not people buying out shit. I don't give a shit. Like in all honesty, go buy what you want to buy as long as you're not breaking any rules and as long as you're not stealing, right? It's ironic to me that players will constantly shit on collectors for buying stuff in massive amounts. But then when a player does it, with the excuse, oh, it's for friends at home. It's not a problem. They follow the rules set by Pokemon. Well, when a fucking collector buys 36 boxes of 151 ETBs, or they buy the whole shelf out of Walmart of Crown Zenith uh, tins, they're following the rules too. No, they're not breaking rules. Now we can say it's scum to sell out a markup. And I think if you're being honest and you actually hate that behavior, you'll call it out, whether it's a player who does it with this product or whether it's a uh, collector who's buying out a shelf at Walmart and selling for markups. If you hated scalping, you'd call it out no matter what it is, right? If you're trying to use the basis that, hey, they're following the rules, but they're not following the rules, you've got to be consistent with your beliefs or you look like a dumbass. You look like an ass clown, right? And that's what I think is happening here. I think a lot of players who are pretending like this is okay, but will hate on a collector who buys in massive bulks or buys a ton of a single card are hypocrites. And that's just my personal takeaway seeing all of this drama. Once again, Matthew, um, Eric, Wancho, more power to you. Buy what you want to buy. 
But once again, the players who are quiet on this, but will turn around and hate a collector for doing the exact same thing is where I have the problem. And that was just what I wanted to offer on this conversation. With that being said, let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think this is an okay thing that should be allowed in the hobby? Do you think we in the hobby should shame this kind of behavior? Whether it's shamelessly reselling or just buying in insane quantities, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Surely everybody's going to have a different, a differing opinion. So I would love to create that conversation in the comments. With that being said, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Remember to keep it awesome.